It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to show you how easy it is to use the Fuji X100V with a trigger so that you can have an off-camera light like the Godox V860 2C. We're gonna be using the X-Pro trigger. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. Let's get into it. Now you might be wondering with the Fuji X100V why use an off-camera flash. Now I knew when I got this um, after running the Fuji X-T4, I wanted that look, that color, the cinematic filmic look of the Fuji. Um, but I also knew this had the power of the X-T4. It had the sensor, it had a newly redesigned lens. The 23 millimeter lens is the equivalent of 35. And the RF35 on the Canon EOS R is what I did most of my product photography, food photography, cocktail photography, um, and some portraits with. And I knew that this camera had the capability to be a very nimble, portable, lightweight setup for product photography and uh, portrait photography. And I knew with the power of the off-camera flash, it would be a killer combo. All right, so let's get into it. First thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna remove, I have this um, hot shoe cover right here. I'm just gonna remove that right there. And I'm just gonna slide the trigger, the X-Pro trigger uh, into the hot shoe. Tighten it. And there you go right there. All right, very nimble setup. Now. You could tell this is the Fuji model because there is an F right there. I have the Canon model, there's a tiny C on the back, and that's how you tell them apart is one has a C, one has an F. Yes, you have to get a different Godox trigger for the brand of the camera. So this is a Fuji specific trigger. I'm gonna power on the camera, power on the trigger. Now you see the screen light up, and now we're ready to control this flash. I'm setting this uh, you can see that I've set this to group A and we have the uh, wireless signal. It's like a little radio signal. It's on wireless mode and I have it group A slave. So it means this is going to be told what to do by the trigger. All right. So very quickly, I'm just going to hit the red button here. We know it's ready. It's uh, ready to fire. And then I'm going to over here, hit the test button here. Yep, we're ready to fire. Now, the last thing you have to do is everything's set up to work and I can, I can fire it here. I can fire it here um, with the trigger, but there is a tiny symbol on my menu that says flash disabled. And so I have to get my glasses out, look at the menu, and I have to make sure that the menu has flash enabled. I'm gonna hit menu right here. And then I'm gonna go down to flash settings I'm gonna go over. The flash function, and I'm going to toggle it on to, uh, let's do it manual, because that's my favorite mode to use. So manual. So now we'll see the flash uh, symbol is set to manual right over here. You can see that very clearly. So high shutter speed and the light up here, about 45 degree angle, smile. So you can see me like this. This is a off-camera flash setup. And uh, the focus may or may not be in, uh, but let's see what it does. Hit play. And we see, yeah, there's some cool portraits right there. All right, so now you know um, that it's possible, it's easy. You just put this on the wireless uh, mode that has the, the little radio tower signal. Uh, group A, slave, and then um, I shoot in manual, and you can record, uh, you can control the power here by this dial. Um, start off with one over 16, um, and as long as group A is turned on here, this is gonna control that. I'll show you some samples that I've taken with this uh, simple nimble setup. Can you imagine portrait photography, food photography, with a lightweight setup like this, but allowing you sophisticated off-camera light? It's very, very cool. All right, now, another thing you might consider is some of the diffusers that go along with it. So right here I have the mag mod, and you can just see there's two magnets uh, kind of on either side of this rubber, um, uh, 
belt that goes around the end and this just clamps on. You also have a grid, the uh, rubber attachment here, and you can put this grid, <laughs> you put this grid on and just clamps on with the magnet. So you can get that grid going there. Um, you also have something like this, which is uh, by Rogue, it's called Flash Bender. And you put your flash in through here the Velcro attachment. And then this has kind of a bendable uh, structure. It feels like kind of a metal structure and you can curve it to shape the light. So it's, it's a cool one. I'm just starting to use that. Um, here is a diffuser. I think I got it from F stoppers. Um, I'll put the link below it's a very cool pancake kind of light. And there's also, you know, you have your, your color, your white balance uh, settings there. You just put the top of the flash into this elastic at the base, and then you have kind of a very cool pancake type flash uh, diffuser, and um, it's very handy for kind of a handheld type of diffusion. Very easy, nice for restaurants and tight spaces uh, where you might be doing food photography, product photography, very portable. Um, my first diffuser ever was this contraption here. Um, and it just goes and there's some Velcro and it goes kind of around the, uh, goes around the end of the flash, kind of like that. And then the Velcro tightens. Um, I had a Fong dome for a while. It was always falling off. This is not my favorite one, but it's around here somewhere too as well. So it's good to experiment with the diffusers, try different looks, try, um, bring several along or a couple along for whatever you're doing, you might want to adapt. Um, the MagMod Sphere is, is pretty nimble and it's pretty cool, um, especially because it's got this modularity to it where you just put the strap on here. And then because of the magnets on the top, um, you could easily switch from this to this right there for the grid. I think you can even put that on top. So, so um, again, I've used this for car photography, product photography, portraits and it's a way to expand the power the unexpected power of the fuji x100v i think this flash was around 150 i'll put the price uh on the screen or in the description below and then the trigger is about 60 or 70 dollars and this works with all the godox lights like the the 80 200 80 400 so once you have this you can trigger a whole set and you can use the sophisticated settings in here to group things into different groups and different powers um so very, very cool, very flexible. That's how easy it is to use the X-Pro trigger on top of the Fuji X100V for off-camera flash. See you in the next video. All right, till next time, I thank you. Subscribe if you uh, wanna see more videos like this. Leave a comment, leave a like. I would love to hear from you. What are your tricks and tips for the Fuji X100V? Have you ever tried off-camera flash?